Good God, it is now 8.37 p.m. on a Saturday night in hell. Jesus, we, we are six days away from opening my, uh, my Airbnb. Six days away. And here I am on Saturday, May 18th or whatever six days away is. And uh, another 12-hour day. So, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the crisis management never, uh, it, it, it just never ends. It, it, it is one crisis after the next crisis after the next crisis. So, I have, uh, you know, been building this screen porch uh, with these Amish guys all day. So, this was our, our big day finally building the screen but see I right now I am completely out of gas I, I had to for the second time in my life I had to borrow a gallon of gasoline from an Amish guy to get to the uh, to, to get to the gas station uh, I've done this before I, I mean I was running on fumes but thank God uh, the, these these Amish guys, you know, you have to go pick them up and there and take them back and stuff. And uh, don't worry, they have plenty of gas to get me to the gas station. So I'm heading to the gas station at 8:39. So we we're building the screen porch. <clears throat> so we put the four walls up. Uh, everything is going uh, clicking along to plan. We, we get the four walls up and then we start on the roof. So we start on the roof and we put the first rafter. We, we've got, this is a, a we, we have six rafters to put up. We put up the first rafter. Everything is looking beautiful. And then uh, one of it's these, these Amish kids, uh, one of them's 19 and one of them's 16 and the, and the kid guys I think I see a problem and uh, and, and I said what problem uh, I, 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 said, I said let's get this damn thing finished and he points up uh, you know uh, about don't look up and, and there's this fucking tree leaning over the tiny house that is it, it's half dead and uh, j just the the dead parts of this fucking tree falling and you know it's a porch roof it's a metal roof without a deck under it he it, 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 it got you know even the even the dead part of the tree uh, hitting this roof would, uh, would would destroy the roof leaning over the goddamn uh, screen porch leaning over the fucking tiny house and of course it's on a hillside and it's leaning on a hillside right over the top of the tiny house and the roof we're building and uh, they, they go well we're stopping right here because you got to get rid of that tree and of course it's damn Saturday and there's no way that an Amish guy is going to work on Sunday and then they're laying in their hay on Monday so all the fucking work stops and they said well you got to find someone to uh, to, to get that tree out of here uh, before we come back and I, and I said guys I open in six days uh, I, I, I said uh, all we got to do is put the roof well all we got to do is, is put the roof in the door the, the, the walls are up the floor was in, so well, we got all four walls and the floor, and we got one of the six rafters up, and, and uh, everything is ground to a fucking halt till I get rid of this fucking dead tree. Uh, welcome to the end times. I mean, look at all these fucking dead trees here. I don't think, I mean, look at this one leaning over their goddamn trailer. Uh, I mean, everywhere you fucking look anymore, there, there, there's a goddamn dead tree. Uh, leaning over your damn house, leaning over your trailer, whatever. Uh, so uh, I, I'm, I'm in an absolute panic trying to find somebody 
and, and uh, <clears throat> by uh, Monday, is I have to have this fucking tree out of here. There's no way I'm going to trust myself. I, I know goddamn well I would drop that tree on the on the house. So I don't know if you uh, remember my video of that junky ass place with all of that garbage out in the road. Uh, I said I know damn well that somebody uh, around here knows how to drop this tree. <clears throat> so I stopped there with the, these crusty looking fuckers and uh, I said, all right, guys. I said, which one of you, there were two of them, uh, I, I, I said, uh, which one of you uh, wants to earn $100 in 15 minutes? I said, I will come get you. I will give you the chainsaw. I will give you the fucking rope uh, and a $100 bill for 15 minutes of work. So uh, I, I, I met this crusty ass fucker, uh, but he wasn't drunk. Uh, stone sober at 8.30 on a Saturday night, as far as I could tell. And uh, he was ready to come do it right now. Uh, he goes, man, he goes, I just put my chainsaws, plural, I just took my chainsaws out of my truck and put them up. And I said, I've, I said, I'll supply the chainsaws. So the fact that he was driving around with chainsaws in his truck. So we will see if uh, this, this guy can save my ass and, uh, and get a... Uh, <laughs> get that damn keep that damn tree from falling on my fucking tiny house oh god but right now I am at the dandy gas and go the dandy gas and go to get a chicken sandwich from the dandy gas and go and this is my big Saturday night and uh, my big Saturday night in Candor New York is uh, getting a chicken sandwich from the gas and go at a quarter to fucking nine. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. The never ending crisis management. I'm gonna get out there and manage your crises while you still can. Bye, guys.